My name is Eric Kessels. Uh, I'm a creative director of uh, Kessels Kramer here in Amsterdam. About the flag we uh, designed here. Um, uh, first of all, I think we, we wanted to, uh, uh, I mean, how can you design a flag? So we wanted to keep it as, as simple as possible. So a flag in general has just like these uh, three colors. So uh, we took a picture from uh, uh, very close up of a soccer uh, pitch. And uh, then we have the tree, the, the tree color, which is then uh, uh, green and then the white uh, line and uh, green grass again. So that is the flag. And it came from uh, a project we did in 1996 together with uh, photographer Julian Germain. And uh, with him together we did uh, all kinds of close-ups of these uh, pitches uh, during the European Championship uh, in, in England at that time. And they were almost like uh, one-to-one uh, -one scale uh, pieces of the pitch where you could really uh, stand on in front of your television before the game started. Yeah, my relationship with football is, uh, of course, uh, we have like uh, Ajax here in Amsterdam as a team that we support uh, with, with uh, a lot of uh, people in the office here. But um, also I really like more the uh, the, the visual culture around uh, soccer, eh? like uh, collecting Panini stickers from an early age already and then also seeing how that develops over the years. So uh, I quite like to follow one player in his whole career by looking at Panini st stickers, for instance, and how he kind of uh, gets all kinds of different hairstyles and uh, yeah, those kind of... I, I really like the, uh, the whole visual culture of uh, soccer and... and uh, yeah, like uh, it, it's uh, it's also always there's opportunities to play with that, uh, either with ideas or with uh, graphic ideas. It's it's a very broad field to uh, make things with. I think uh, there's a lot of uh, opportunities for uh, designers in in, uh, in in football because. I mean, but that has a lot to do when the clubs also see this. I think it uh, needs two to tango, but uh, in ge generally, I think, uh, I mean, there's of course classic designs of uh, uh, football clubs and uh, of uh, emblems and, and logos of football clubs. But recently it's also quite, uh, yeah, I mean, it's, it's quite middle of the road, of course. So I think uh, when... Uh, yeah, like there's an opportunity for uh, very uh, for very interesting uh, graphic designers to work with clubs, and uh, that could also change. I mean, in soccer and football, it, it uh, is uh, quite stereotypical, eh? like uh, the, the 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 design you find there. It's quite. Uh, I mean, you you know uh, that it's uh, there's hardly any change in that. So. example uh, like uh, football hasn't uh, developed really f uh, for the good uh, for the good uh, you might say because recently I think a lot of clubs uh, lo lost a lot of their identity but um, yeah one uh, but in a way that is all also something that you can play with because we did um, once a project called uh, the other final and that was uh, at one time when Holland didn't qualify for the World Cup uh, of Soccer and uh, a lot of people in the office here had some had spare time of course but then we found out that uh, I mean you have this FIFA ranking but on the top of the ranking there was I think on the ninth place there was Holland uh, and they didn't really uh, qualify but at the bottom of the ranking there was uh, number 202 and number 203 and that was Bhutan and Montserrat and they actually never won a game, eh? so uh, they, those were the, 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 the only two uh, country teams that never won a game. So we decided to organize at the same time of the final of that World Cup, uh, an other final, which was called the other final, uh, between Bhutan and Montserrat. And the game was played in Bhutan, and uh, yeah, like uh, between the, the, the two worst teams in the world. But this was also more an act that um, yeah, those teams also deserve a podium and a, and a, a chance to uh, get publicity. And with this uh, project, 
which was an ofif, of, official FIFA game, uh, they got that. And uh, so it means also that I think in design and advertising, it's quite nice to, if you have a strong idea, you can uh, do a lot of things. I mean, this uh, project, the other final, ended up in a documentary. I mean, we are not documentary makers, but. Uh, yeah, in Holland it was seen as, uh, it, it's recently awarded as the best uh, sports documentary uh, made uh, all time in Holland. So, But it has mostly to do about the idea, I think. So when everybody looks in that direction, it's quite nice to see if there's something in that direction. So, uh, yeah, that, that's also what we do, of course, to come up with ideas and, and try to do something with that.